Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 has us revisiting the world of modern warfare that ran from 2007 to 2011. And this time it takes advantage of all the technical improvements that the series has experienced since then, bringing us a game that feels very familiar, but includes some highly impressive technical gameplay qualities. Though before I begin my review, I must openly state that the majority of this review will focus heavily on the main campaign, as I really didn't spend much time exploring multiplayer, and it has never been a gameplay mode that has really been interesting to me over the last number of entries in the franchise. Having said that, Without going into any extreme spoilers, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 serves as a semi-prequel to the 2007 Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare game, in the sense that the game's ending somewhat hint at the very beginning of the 2007 game, however I only say semi because outside of the appearance of two key characters from the main Modern Warfare trilogy, nothing story-wise has any connection to anything that happens in the following entries. What the main story does do is follow four primary characters as the main plot is divided into three main plot points. The first involves recovering some deadly chemical weapons, the second involves tracking down a terrorist known as the Wolf, and the third involves fighting against a rogue Russian army force. How events play out over the five hour long campaign are pretty standard to those who are familiar with other military based stories like this one, and can probably see how certain events are going to play out. There's a number of flashback scenes that really stand out and show just how brutal the conflict that is being played out can really be. Where the campaign story slightly falters is with its characters. Out of the four primary characters that the game's campaign follows, the characters of Eric and Kyle were very uninteresting and forgettable for me, and you could have easily replaced them with any generic military character and nothing would have changed. The main character of Captain Price has gone on to be the unofficial iconic character of the Modern Warfare series, and while it was great to see him return, I can't really say that anything new has really been done with his character that you won't expect. He is truly a hardcore fighter who is willing to do anything it takes to complete a mission, even if a number of his actions can be somewhat questionable. But easily the strongest character in the real heart of the game's campaign centers around the rebel leader Farah. As all three story plot points have a connection to Farah in one form or another, and one of the more effective missions in the game actually has you take control of her as a child and see firsthand of the cruelty that she will be forced to witness which will ultimately inspire her to lead a resistance against the Russian army to defend her fictional country of Yerzysan. It's just upsetting how little you actually get to play as her, and I think the game really would have benefited by having a steady balance of missions that allows you to play as all four main protagonist characters in the game, but sadly that is not the case, which is ultimately what I found slightly disappointing. As a first person shooter, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019's gameplay is very well executed in just about every single department. The overall feeling of the game is great as your movements do not feel as fluid as they've been in older games but are somewhat steady depending on the weapon that you're equipped it with, and this does have an effect on your movement speed, adding an element of weight that I do not recall being handled as well as it has been in this game. One thing that I found really impressive was the variety of missions spread throughout such a short campaign. Instead of a series of simply run and gun and kill everything in sight missions, there is a great deal of stealth focused missions that really change the pace for which more entries in the franchise are known for. The house raid being a real standout mission, and there's even the inclusion of several defensive holding missions that have different variations to them. One mission in particular has a great deal of similarities to one of my favorite Michael Bay films, which I'm not afraid to state right here has officially helped it become my new all-time favorite mission in any Call of Duty game to date, dethroning the iconic Vendetta mission from Call of Duty World at War. Outside of the standard first person shooter gunplay, there's a number of vehicles like gunships and drones that you can take control of to help you progress. Now I didn't really have much time to try out spec ops, and when it comes to multiplayer I really don't have that much to say. For starters, all of the fire remotes that I did manage to try out didn't really feel too much in terms of their variation. Traditional multiplayer modes are all included here, with my personal favorite domination which requires your squad to capture multiple flag points. A new gameplay mode called Ground Wars is somewhat familiar to Domination, but instead plays on a much larger map and has the inclusion of vehicles that you can use. A new addition to the multiplayer mode is also called Realistic Mode which removes the hub granting a slight level of immersion. In the game design department, every aspect of Modern Warfare 2019's is just as high quality as you would expect. 
During the main campaign, the overall presentation of how the game story is played out has a high cinematic quality to it, in which all of the performances from all of the voice actors and body performances are being A plus quality. The visuals of Modern Warfare 2019 are simply incredible to look at, especially when you have the capacity as I did to play this game on the PlayStation Pro using a 4K television, with the nighttime mission specifically looking the most impressive to the point where I actually almost thought that they were photorealistic. The sound quality also enhances every moment of the gameplay, in which every gun, every explosion, every vehicle, and every moment has a specific sound that adds to the almost atmosphere that you will explore throughout the game. The soundtrack was serviceable, but nothing too memorable. For someone like me who has been a fan of this franchise since I was a teenager all the way back in 2003, and has witnessed the franchise's high and low points, I can openly admit that I haven't been too fond of some of the more recent entries in the franchise, but Modern Warfare 2019 does place this series in a very good position in my eyes. Now overall, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 is a solid entry in the long-running franchise of the very popular first-person shooter series. However, for me, my overall feelings towards it are just kind of pretty standard. I mean, I do not consider this, or I wouldn't even consider placing this in my top five favorite entries in the series. And overall, my feelings towards the Call of Duty franchise in general are just kind of in the middle. I would consider myself a fan of this franchise, but I would never consider myself to be a big fan of the franchise. And overall, the Call of Duty series as they've gone along are somewhat similar, at least in my personal experience, to the MCU films in terms of there's a certain level of quality that I believe is pretty straightforward when it comes to the last number of games. I think overall these games do not get better, but they certainly don't get worse. They stay very, very consistent, and I do believe that this is continued in this particular game. And when you look at it from a story's point of view, in terms of trying to connect it to the other Modern Warfare entries or I would say the traditional uh, Modern Warfare trilogy, I just felt that this game in particular, story-wise, felt just a little bit disjointed. Now, that does not make it a bad story, because I think it does pretty much follow all the standard traits that you would expect from a story taking place in a somewhat modern time period, but I think that when it, when it, when it comes to actually trying to connect to the other games, I just don't think this game did a very good job at doing that, because as I stated earlier on in the video, Though this game does serve as a technical prequel, nothing in this game really connects or leads into the Modern Warfare trilogy that we all know, which I do consider to be vastly superior to what happens in this game. And all the supposed controversial moments that happen throughout this game really didn't bother me. And once I was past those moments, I more than likely just didn't think about them and just focused on trying to beat the campaign as quickly as possible, which this certainly, at least for me, did feel like one of the more shorter campaigns that I've played in a Call of Duty game in some time. However, again, that does not make this a bad game. If you are a fan of this franchise, you will enjoy this. And I think that for some people who want to go back to the modern warfare time period, I think that they will enjoy this more than other entries that we've had come out in recent years. But me being just a story-driven gamer, who is wanting to focus on this game's campaign, and for me, I have never really considered the multiplayer to be really a big influence on me since I haven't really enjoyed a multiplayer Call of Duty game experience since, I say, Black Ops, which in my opinion, I consider to be the last truly great Call of Duty game in terms of campaign and multiplayer, this game just isn't quite in that game's league. But I do consider this to be another solid entry in the franchise. Now. For those of you that have been watching my channel for a long time, you kind of know what score I typically tend to give Call of Duty games, and this is just going to be another installment which I would have to give the same score. So overall, if I had to give Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 an overall rating, I'm going to give it a 7.5. I think it's a good installment, I think it's a solid entry in the franchise, but it's not something that I would consider to be one of the all-time greats. But again, I am basing this mainly just on the campaign and all the technical improvements that are to be expected. I really do not consider anything in the multiplayer to really inf just pretty much really inspire or infect my overall feeling towards the game because I've never really been a big fan of the multiplayer in some time. But those are just my thoughts. Now, if you have had a chance to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, please share your thoughts with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And if you like this game review, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to help spread the word and help grow the channel. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. and. I will see you next time.